Oh, my beloved tribe. This is Emily Potter. I'm the director of the Lightworker Musicians Tribe and the Million Kisses Foundation. And I was on the phone with someone just this week who was processing this question. This is also something that I've heard several of you say. So once again, we get to do a live video about this topic. Have you ever said to yourself, or had this been a, a pattern that you have, and you say, well, why would anybody want to listen to me? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna tell you why you might say things like that. Well, the musician in you might say it because you're just not a good enough musician and you have that belief. So let's take that by itself and now I'm going to once again talk to the light worker in you, that spiritual leader in you, the one that knows you have a calling to bring and anchor light onto the planet through you. I'm going to talk to you right now because for me it, it comes together, but I like to discuss a specific to I like to address a specific part of who you are in that calling of you, that that inner knowing. So perhaps you have that about music. Why would anyone listen to me? Because I'm not a good enough musician. That's more of the technicality. I want to talk to the soul of who you are, of why you would say something like that. Okay. So you might say that because you're not an expert at things that you feel like people should only listen to you if you are at the expert or master level. You might say that because you are someone who still struggles with relapsing into old patterns that you have not yet overcome. And so why would anybody listen to you? Because you haven't overcome things yet. And another one is that you're still in it right now. You're still in your stuff. You're still in that, the old patterns right now, and you don't know how to get out of it. But there is a part of you that still knows that, actually, I'm going to say even this. There's a part of you that has overcome a lot a lot even though you haven't all the way gotten through so there's really good reasons why you're saying the, the question to yourself why would anybody listen to me well for those of you who need to stay in that place I always like to honor the place that you are right now and you are needing to get evidence of you playing small and staying small and that nobody should listen to you, I'm gonna give that to you right now. You have attracted more people saying to you, you're right, nobody should listen to you. See, I was right. She just told me that no one should listen to me. Now I'm saying that to weed that out so that you seem that that actually feels ridiculous because if you, if you actually need to have somebody say that to you, I just said it to you. You are completely right. You haven't overcome everything in life. No one should listen to you. Now, for everyone else who sees that that's not the end of the story, then let's get to work because we get to overcome this question so that you do not get stuck in this question so that you know that people actually benefit from listening to you and that you just get to get out of the way so that they can listen to you. I'm going to give you some really good examples. I want you to think about the people that you listen to. Now I'm going to give you a list of people that I listen to. I have four people here and I want you to just ask the question, what kind of world would this be if the people that you listen to stayed stuck in this question? I listen to Nelson Mandela. I have so much respect for that man. I also listen to Esther Hicks. I specifically say Esther because we, as we know, if we are Abraham Hicks fans, she is connected and unified with Abraham Hicks. And yet she as the woman had to get out of the way. And if you know any of her story, she had to ask this question for herself. But Imagine the kind of world that we would be living in if some of the great leaders in the world stayed stuck in this question. Why would anybody want to listen to me? Another one is I listen to Matt Kahn, if you're a Matt Kahn fan. He went through significant issues and struggles, and it's because of that that I want to listen to him. And then one that, as, as all of us know, 
We listen to Nako Bear. A lot of us listen to him in our tribe. What if he actually stayed stuck in this question? Why would anybody want to listen to me? And there's ample evidence for all four of the people that I listen to of, of, in their own stories of why they would want to stay stuck in that story. So most all of them, if not all of them, have have experienced major depression and anxiety and and self-hatred, all of these things that you and I have experienced ourselves. And you can stay stuck there. No one's going to make you have another life. No one's going to make you get out of this. But, but I want to at least illuminate this point. And I want to give you a tool that is the number one tool that will actually be the remedy for you to overcome if you decide to take this on and embrace it. For those of you who are ready to, then I encourage you to open your heart a little bit, even wider, for you to receive this tool. So that this question, every time it comes up in your mind, it's flagged. A little flag is waving in the breeze in your mind. This is not your story anymore, tribe. Imagine the power of overcoming this question. Why would anybody want to listen to me? The remedy is this. Before I tell you it, I'm going to say a little bit more. You don't actually have to overcome everything in your life for the ability to have people listen to you and gain inspiration from you. You don't actually have to be an expert on anything except your own personal experience. True spiritual leaders do not preach to anyone or try to change anybody's not mind. True spiritual leaders like you empower. Your message gets to be one of empowering others and that is the way that people want to listen to you and why they should listen to you because your message is one of empowerment and of celebrating and in believing in people and believing in the potential of what they can do and what they can be and who they can be. This is why people want to listen to you because you are an expert of your own experience and because you're not trying to preach to anyone or try to or try to change anybody's mind you honor where they are and you say I believe in you I believe in your ability to be strong and empowered and the only way that you can do that as a spiritual leader and a music medicine holder because you're the ones on on stage people are listening to you and they're not just listening to your music they're listening to who you are and how you present yourself so owning that for yourself first is really significant and important and you start by eliminating this question why would anybody want to listen to me because you empower people when you're on stage even just your essence you empower them and you celebrate them and you believe in them and the I'm going to say again, the best way and the only way that you can ever do that is that you begin with yourself. Empower yourself, celebrate yourself, and believe in yourself. Then that energy and that vibration is emitted off the stage, brought out to the people, and then they want to listen to you because you're not, you don't have any agenda except for aren't we all amazing? Aren't we all wonderful? I love you. I celebrate you. And I, I am not perfect. And I have not overcome everything because I am human. And yet I have a message of empowerment. Let's get through our fears. Let's have them all come up and let's have voice for all of them. And then we know that we are empowered to walk through them. So even if you are someone who is relapsing into old patterns and you're someone who's struggling with self-hatred and you're someone who's struggling from anxiety or depression or addiction or anything that you're struggling with, you have a message saying, hey, I am working through 
and I empower myself to get through. I'm still going. I'm still thriving. I have compassion for all of those in my audience who are experiencing the same. And there's the connection. And there's the vulnerability. And there's the healing medicine that we're always talking about. And what I love about spiritual leaders who are musicians, it is the most tender, softest place to then have that be immersed in music. It's so available and so relatable. It's You really are some of the most true and most powerful leaders on the planet. We are, tribe. And the more you know that, the more I say it to you, the more that you believe it, the more that you emit that, the more we are going to be a connected people on this planet. And it begins with you. And it begins with me. And I am one right now who is empowering you and celebrating you and believing in you. I am, that's my message to you. And this is a tribe where you get to practice that. So lean in and practice those three elements. This is how you overcome this as, as the remedy, is that you celebrate each other. You're doing a great job, by the way. Isn't that wonderful? To go through and scroll through and see how everyone's celebrating each other. This is mastery level. It may seem simple, just yay! it's extraordinarily powerful for the people who are receiving that and that we believe in each other people are saying I'm scared I'm gonna go do a uh, my first open mic or I'm gonna do my first original song we believe in you we're so happy yay for you this is powerful and this is mastery level and and making that your consistent habit, all of these things that we're practicing in our tribe are deliberately to empower one another so that we never ask the question again, why would anybody want to listen to me? Now, many of you are ready to take this to the next level. You're doing it in, your, in your, the ways that you're doing it, but you're ready to go to the next level. And that's my invitation to have you private message me that you can take your spiritual leadership and connect it and unify it with your music medicine and to reach your vibrationally matched audiences. And what I mean by that is that the people who have, who have or are going through what you've gone through deserve to hear you talk to them and, and tell your story and to share your music with them. That's who you want to connect with. So when you're ready to actually connect the two and have this be your work in a way that really, really works and connects, then private message me. And I am a resource for you. We're going to create that strategy for you to make this real. Lots of love to you all. Thank you for being here, and I will see you in the next video. I'll see, and I look forward to those who are ready to reach out to me this week. I will be talking with you very soon. Goodbye.